Hey there Pokemon fans, today we're gonna try to uncover the truth behind finding rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go. But first, this video is actually sponsored by none other than Amino Apps. Yes, most of you guys know that I'm a member of Poke Amino with over 1300 followers. But since Pokemon Go has become such a massive hit with new and old fans, it deserves its own community. Heck, its own app. Well, that dream has become a reality. You can now find the new Pokemon Go Amino app in your phone's app store by simply searching for, well, you guessed it, Pokemon Go Amino. I know many of you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks video for Pokemon Go, but I'm just one guy. By joining the Pokemon Go community, you will gain access to tons of more tips, tricks, news, art, and just overall fun stories from other members that, just like you, simply love Pokemon Go. Download the app today and join the fun. Currently, I'm on the quest to find out who in the community has caught the top percentage Rattata. Are you the one who holds the title of Master Youngster Yoey? Find me in the community by searching the username Obi to find out. Alright, so the big question is, how do we find rare Pokemon? But really, what are rare Pokemon? Officially, all the legendaries plus Ditto are extremely rare, well, because they are unavailable. Then, if you didn't know this already, there are a few Pokemon that are exclusive to certain regions. Taurus can be found in North America, Mr. Mime in Europe, Kangaskhan in Australia, and finally Farfetch in Japan. So these Pokemon are rare for the people that cannot travel across the land. See what I did there? So what's up with the rest of them? Well, as many of you guys know, many can be found in the wild, others from eggs that you gather. There are certain distances you need to walk in order to hatch the eggs. But make note that just because you walk the longest, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will find a rare Pokemon. Or get a rare Pokemon. Some rare Pokemon you get from eggs are Aerodactyl, Kabuto, Dratini, Porygon, and much more. So if you want a shot at these Pokemon, just make sure you are hatching eggs constantly. The next step to encounter rare Pokemon in the wild is pretty obvious. As you level up and you get into higher levels, well, there is a better chance for you to encounter more than your average Rattata. Combine this by taking trips not just to your local park, but instead try mixing things up a bit if you can, such as going to your nearest major cities or visiting some farmlands. So those are the two major things that you can do without spoiling your game. Now there are certain tools that you can use that will help you find the Pokemon you want. For example, there are certain apps that you can find that have databases created by users that have found Pokemon in their area. In simple words, if you find a Pokemon, you submit the location to the app and all the members can see it. Now this sounds great, but the problem is honesty. There is not a set method to verify that the information added to the database is true. So you will always find people that think it's funny to lie about the Pokemon they found. But if you still want to try this, a popular app would be PokeRadar. The best alternative is to use PokeVision, which is a website that uses Niantic's API to get the location of Pokemon in any area you want to search. There is a live map, you can use a zip code or just drop a pin in any place to find the Pokemon in that specific area. This is a great tool that can help you plan better trips so that you get the most out of your Pokemon Go experience. So if you have your eyes on a rare Pokemon, try this website. The last thing I want to mention is that there is a way to cheat. I'm not going to go into details because I do not recommend this as most likely you're going to get banned for doing so. But just for your information, people have found ways to make the game spawn Pokemon in the map by altering the game's code and others have found ways to force the game to tell them the location of all the Pokemon. I'm sure you'll be able to find more information online, but again, I do not recommend you to do that. Alright Pokemon fans, that is all the tips I have for now on how to find rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more Pokemon content. Thanks so much for watching and until next time Pokemon fans. Thank you.